Michael Cardini, thanks very much indeed for joining us. We're having these reports come through from Reuters uh, suggesting this is going to be delayed, at least the pricing is being delayed here. What would be, in your view, the reason behind that? I think there's some uh, last-minute concerns over uh, uh, some of the, uh, the numbers that have been coming out of, of Ren Ren in the past week. Uh, first of all, you saw them change the, the number of uh, active users that they had on their network at the last minute. Uh, and then over the weekend, of course, uh, you saw that the head of their uh, audit committee uh, resigned, uh, saying, of course, that uh, he, he did not want to. He had problems at another company that he worked with, and he didn't want those to impact the uh, Ren Ren IPO. So these things could be adding up to some uh, uh, last-minute problems from, from, for uh, Ren Ren. What about the timing of this initial public offering here as well, Michael? I mean, it's not exactly what you might call the top of the growth, uh, uh, but the growth story that it's had. Yeah, it's very interesting because actually a lot of people say that uh, uh, Joseph uh, Chen, who's the CEO of Renren, Ren, uh, one thing that he's always had is exquisite timing. Uh, but uh, over the last couple of quarters, Renren Ren has experienced uh, particularly poor timing because of the, the challenging uh, competitive environment it's in. Uh, I think up to now a lot of uh, investors uh, the last couple of months have been thinking that, you know, if you take China and you mix it together with the Internet and add in SNS, uh, that it's some sort of formula for alchemy. Uh, but we're finding that uh, the environment that, that Ren Ren is in is extremely uh, challenging. It, it has to go against not only uh, other rivals in the market, there are several other Facebooks in China, uh, but it also faces uh, independent uh, or large uh, incumbents such as uh, Tencent. Uh, not to mention uh, Weibo, which you mentioned earlier, is, is the offering from Sina uh, that is very much like Twitter, but uh, goes also beyond Twitter to, to take in some of the SNS uh, type functions and uh, the big question ahead is if uh, Weibo which is much more popular than, than Renred at this point if they're able to, to sort of see some of those popular SNS functions uh, then that will continue to take away momentum from uh, from Renred. Obviously you mean by SNS you mean social networking side so the thing is okay if we if this delay is confirmed will they cut the price do you think because many people have questioned the sort of valuation they're going for here uh, I mean on some measures it's almost double what uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook is purportedly worth. I find it hard to believe that they'll uh, cut the uh, offering price. Uh, during the last week, uh, the, uh, there's been intense interest in this roadshow, uh, and I, I think you, you saw evidence of that when they actually increased by 30 percent the, the offering range that they're going for in this IPO. Uh, so even though there are a lot of concerns uh, that investors have with, um, uh, or, or that insiders probably have with this, uh, the future of Renren in this IPO, I, I think a lot of uh, investors are looking at those risks uh, and very quickly putting them into the rearview mirror because uh, they're very uh, focused on the SNS story. It's the first uh, SNS firm to, to go IPO, and I think they're, they're just totally focused on that story and not the risks that are inherent in Ren Ren's uh, future. Uh, you know, you say that, and I guess you would probably tell people to avoid this one, but you, we could see heavy demand here on the basis of what you're really saying as well. Absolutely. I think if you were a, uh, an early investor uh, in, in Ren Ren, uh, or even if you came in in, in the last rounds, you're, you're going to do very well on this uh, IPO. But uh, if you're getting in in the, the post-IPO uh, uh, shuffle, uh, I don't think it's going to be a very good play. I expect that over the next uh, three to six months, uh, certainly before the lockup period ends, that this will be quite a, a volatile stock. Uh, but I have, I have little doubt, even though I'm, I'm quite negative uh, on these guys, I have little doubt that um, uh, people are just ignoring the risks and that this will be a very strong IPO. Would Facebook stand a chance in China given the competitive environment that uh, is there? I think uh, there's been a lot of talk about Facebook coming into China, potentially uh, linking up with uh, Baidu, which is, of course, the, the largest search engine in China. Uh, but uh, the fact there is that uh, Facebook is, is very late to this market. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's already a hyper-competitive market. And if they pick Baidu as a partner, uh, that does not automatically mean that they will succeed, because Baidu, uh, very much like Google, uh, has not shown that that it 
it can be very successful in the social networking market. Uh, they have a couple of uh, social networking uh, properties that they're working with, and, and to date, none of them have been successful.